Welcome back, and once more with Carl Fogarty in his motorhome. And this time we're going to see what is behind the sort of personal appearances and all the rest of it that these superstars get involved in, this glamorous lifestyle. It is glamorous, isn't it, Carl? Well, really? if you say so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of the, the biggest things, I, mean, I think we've probably all seen the adverts that Ducati are using you particularly, mm. and, and the whole family, Michaela, yeah. double page spreads and all the rest of it. They're obviously, they're very proud of you, aren't they? You are their star, and so... Um, yeah, it's they? nice, it's nice that... Um, to do that, um, that's more of a, it's more a thing that's been done by the British importer, uh, Mochinelli, than, uh, than actually oh, Ducati. Yeah, they've done that. So, but Ducati in Italy, obviously, they've done their own sort of things as well over the years. You know, over there, they, I think they're pretty keen on the the family sort of thing. They like that. They like that sort of yeah. thing. And they always seem to do something. And they seem pretty keen on Michaela. With uh, <laughs> one of them, I thought was a bit <laughs> suggestive that yeah. uh, Mochinelli did. Yeah, yeah, that was the only reason for doing it because he wanted her on her own. They won't bother about me. <laughs> Uh, the other things, day and easy, I mean, you're a hell of an advert um, for them. Uh, how long has that association been going now? Uh, day and easy leathers, I've been using them since um, sort of 1990, really, the first time I, I came. It actually, when I, I rode the 500 for um, when Killy was injured, um, the Honda team was sponsored by Denny's, and part of the contract was with that bike that whoever rode it had to wear day and easy leathers, so that was the sort of the first sort of meetings I had yeah. with them really when I had to use the leathers that year for them few races they did and ever since then I've, uh, I've used their leathers yeah yeah and so and you're quite happy with that arrangement I should oh, think oh yeah I think you know for me that um, there are a lot of leathers around but for me they're, they're the best in the world so yeah. yeah are you actually fitted up if that's the expression um, with them in Italy do you have to go there to be to be measured and I did originally but not now I just um, if I grow a little bit over winter somewhere, I'll say, yeah. look, I want a bit more room in here, it get a bit tight. But uh, they're generally just, when you used to get leathers like 10 years ago, so I put them on, you used to ha I always used to hate putting them on and going out. Like, But now they, you put them on, it feels like you've had them on for a few meetings, you know, they just fit straight away. And it's not like they're a bit tight. When you first go out, they just right. feel fine, you know. Right. So. And so you wear day and easy gloves as well, obviously, mm. don't you? Yeah. And, and what about um, boots, Alpine stars? I mean, you like an advertising holding, really, aren't you? Well, yeah, I suppose. I mean, uh, you know, it's all there, isn't it? Like, it's it's all part of the game yeah. these days. You know, it um, sells product as well if, you, you, right. if you're winning races. And it means a lot to them because it's um, something that people need to ride bikes on the road. And tell me, do they approach you? Do they say, we'd like you to uh, use our boots and we're going to pay you loads of money? Or <laughs> I don't want to know how much. Well, I'd love to know, but I'm not going to ask yeah, you that. Yeah, I'll tell you after. <laughs> Um, it's a bit of both, I think, really, you know, um, I was using other boots and stuff, but for me, Alpine Stars, I thought were the best ones to have, so I, I approached them at the end of, um, end of 93, and they were obviously well pleased that I wanted to use them, and did the deal then, really, you know, yeah. I just certain things that I'd like to use, and they're one, that, that, that boot for me is the best Very one fun. in the world, for yeah. sure, definitely the strongest one. Oh, it's good, good endorsement there. And um, shark helmets, I mean, you're famous for shark helmets as well, foggy replicas everywhere. Yeah, they're doing really well. I think it's been the biggest selling replica for two or three years now in, yeah. in the UK and, and a lot of Europe, so that's good. Mm. And they changed the design, didn't they? Changed this year for the first time in four years. It's yeah. um, always been the same from 93 till 96, and now we've just changed it this year. It's it's a little bit similar, but it's a new helmet, you see, so they changed the design as well. But uh, it's not quite right yet, but it yeah. will be in a few weeks, and yeah. then, uh, that'll be the new replica. And it's still got the that's right new replica distinctive paintwork and all the mm. rest of it. Now away from the racing scene, I mean you're into sponsoring diesel jeans and denim in in general. Um, how did that one start? Um, with diesel, I've been sponsored with diesel since '95. Um, I knew them a little bit before with through Raymond Rush, my old uh, team boss from '93. He was sponsored by Diesel and E Race, and he sort of introduced me to him and, and got me some freebies then sort of you know a pair of jeans or something back yeah. in 93 and uh, then they just approached me to be honest in 95 and said you know we'd like we'd just like to you know put a badge on you and yeah. uh, give you some uh, you know all the keep the, the whole family keep yeah. the whole family in denim so yeah that's fine by me they're, they're a good sponsor yeah. yeah and are you sponsored by any, any other people at all you know out to the mainstream sort of bike market as it is it where um not so much this year no fear again have helped me they've helped me a lot over the last yeah three or four years um, mainly because I'm a you know a good friend of the the guy who runs uh, who's the importer in in the uh, in UK Alan Pendry so yeah. he's helped me a lot um, I was sponsored with Sony in 95 with the PlayStation thing yeah it's sort of things come and go it depends on the product you want a bit of promote it for so many months and then it disappears you know but uh, 
This year at the moment is just just the diesel and, and no fear really. Yeah, but it's um, it's all part, isn't it, of the the racing scene. I mean, the car world has gone sort of bananas at it, hasn't mm. it? It's sponsorship's a big thing, but in the bike world, it's hard to come by in the bike world. I'm sure it is. There's not many. There's not many. There's not many riders I look at. at um, a super bike that's got like personal sponsors on there's very very few to be yeah. honest yeah. surprising yeah it is when you mention that because uh, i mean the grand prix well perhaps um, a few more but perhaps mm, even they're very scarce to yeah. be honest it's not um when you, know, when you look at cars and stuff it seems to be everywhere but with bikes it's um a lot less you know yeah. I, don't, I don't really know the reasons to be honest um, do, do, you, do you think the phone i mean you're a well-known person been uh, around for a while does the phone ring more when you've, um, you're on a winning streak? I mean, that would naturally seem to be the thing to do. You know, we must have this guy, he's a winner. And, uh, yeah, I was, uh, since winning the World Championship in 94, it changed a lot since then, obviously, but uh, oh, it doesn't ring as much now, so I think everyone's <laughs> rung and said what they wanted to say. It's, it's, it's weird, I'm, you know, I'm, I probably don't do as many things as, as what other riders do, to be honest. I just, not that I can't be bothered, I yeah. just, um, well, no, I, I just when I finish a race, I just like to, just to get home and you know, just and not be doing stuff every other week. Yeah. a lot of them do. I say so you can sort of chase after these things, can you? The, the Carl Fogarty pro celebrity golf match or whatever. I can't can't really see you. Can't, doing that. No, I'm not very really into golf to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> the Carl Fogarty fan club is is that running at the moment? I know it's it's been around, but is it around? Yeah, I'm not. To be honest, I don't even know myself. I didn't really have a lot to do with it, and uh, it wasn't done right. Um, so it's sort of been scrapped and I think something new is going to start soon, you know, but... Because um, there's a lot of work that goes into that, isn't it? If you've really got to keep... You, you've you've is, got a hell of a lot of fans, but, yeah. I mean, if they want a newsletter and yeah. photographs, there's got to be... Someone's got to do it. I mean, there's no way I could do it. I just, yeah. I've, you know, no one here got the time for that, but someone's all about doing it. It's like I say, we're just in the middle of probably getting something started again for this year because we didn't... Whatever happened last year, it wasn't done right, to be honest. Yeah. The bad, I mean, all right, from MCN... But um, just for, for every round, really, I mean, they come to every round anyway and just spend 10 minutes talking to me. Yeah. After a race, uh, what I've been up to, you know, and uh, how's it gone, basically, and then they just sort of word it, you know. It's, yeah. uh, it always come out as <laughs> correct, but uh, anyway. <laughs> it's more I, and uh, I got um, the monthly one with uh, performance bikes, you know, I did a monthly one for them, which is, uh, you know, the biggest selling magazine of them all, really. So, yeah, yeah that's good. It's quite funny. 